Hi, I'm Matthew Ramsden and I'm a business management with marketing student in the first year of study. In today's vlog, I will be explaining marketing theories to understand my consumer purchasing behaviour. Consumer buying behaviour is the study of purchases involved when individuals or groups select, purchase, use or dispose of products, services, ideas or experience which justifies their needs and wants. This is Silliman, 2018. One decision making process is the B2C model. Six steps. Uh, the first is problem recognition, second information search, third information evaluation, fourth purchase decision, fifth post purchase decision and sixth feedback prior to the next decision. My toothbrush is on its last legs and I needed a new one. This was my problem recognition. Uh, there was a problem doesn't always mean it's going to have to be solved because I may not have the resources to solve my new toothbrush need. For example, I'm assuming with not much disposable income, this tight budget will affect my purchasing decision. Having established my need for a new toothbrush and knowing my budget, I started my information research. This consisted of looking online for the best prices and reading reviews to establish which electric toothbrush is the best for me and which I should purchase, out of the information I had gathered. Information evaluation is the next step I am deciding what type of electric toothbrush is the right one for me and will suit my needs and wants to the best of its ability. As this is all new to me, having never owned an electric toothbrush before, my options are Oral-B, Philips, Colgate, after researching in step two, this is the information I found. The fourth step, purchase decision. I am now going to pick which electric toothbrush to purchase which fulfills my needs and wants to the greatest of its ability and fits my budget perfectly. I chose Oral-B toothbrush as it had the best reviews online and had good value for money, coming with four extra brush heads thus being vastly superior to the other options at the same price and as I am a student, this value for money greatly appealed to me. Post purchase decision. This is step 5. As I have owned the toothbrush a couple of weeks and I am completely satisfied, as I can feel a complete difference in the way my teeth feel, as they now feel a lot cleaner than they used to do with a manual brush. Finally. Step 6. Feedback prior to next decision. I will be staying with Oral-B and if needing to, buying a new Oral-B brush heads because this brush has really revolutionised my life and made my teeth feel a lot cleaner and helped me feel better. This is how Gosney and Richardson's research applies to my consumer behaviour. Rogers' theory of diffusion and innovation consists of five parts. The first part are innovators. This consists of the first 2.5% of the people which display a willingness to take a risk and try new things on the product or new technology available to them. The second group of people are early adopters. This is 13.5% of the people buying the product, consisting of opinion leaders selective about which new te technologies to adopt and purchase when moving forward with the new technologies. They are very select in which ones they pick. The third group, called the early majority, consists of 34% of the people. These show a willingness to embrace and look to understand how it fits within their lives. Then there's the late majority consisting of 34% of people again. These people adopt with scepticism and most of the uncertainty must be resolved. The last section are the laggards. These are the last people to adopt the new technology and do not like the change. When buying my electric toothbrush, I consider myself an early majority, as I showed a willingness to embrace and look to understand how it fits in my life as I got all my information from opinion leaders as well and being inspired to purchase a product from them which are their stage 2 and I was stage 3, the early majority.